We're interested in an area of research called metabolomics. Metabolomics is the newest of the so-called omic sciences. Most people have probably heard of genomics and proteomics, where researchers are profiling genes and proteins. What happens in metabolomics is we're profiling metabolites. Metabolites are low mass molecules. They're the small molecules um, in the cell. And our motivation behind looking at metabolites compared to genes and proteins is that metabolites are actually the substrates involved, they're the, entity, the chemical entities that are involved in the reactions. They're literally what's being transformed inside of the cell during metabolism. We have a lot of different instruments that we use for looking at metabolites, but one of our particular interests is trying to anatomically localize metabolites within a specific piece of tissue. One of the ways in which metabolites are localized within tissue is by using a technique, an analytical approach called mass spectrometry. What happens in mass spectrometry is that molecules or ions are isolated and then the masses of those ions are measured. And by knowing the mass of these compounds, we can then figure out what these compounds are, if, if they're sugars, amino acids, or proteins. The technique that's typically used for imaging molecules inside on a, on a tissue is called MALDI, or Matrix Assisted Laser Desorption Ionization. The way that MALDI works is by using a MALDI plate and the samples are deposited, the tissue samples, a section of a, of a tissue sample is deposited on a MALDI plate and then this is measured using a mass spectrometer. In order to get the molecules to ionize, a liquid substance is applied to the sample known as a matrix. MALDI, the M in MALDI stands for matrix. Unfortunately, that matrix, although it helps us, it helps our, with us with our ability to ionize these molecules, it also shows up in the mass spectrometer. And it shows up in the low mass region of the mass spectra. And this is the exact region where the metabolites are. So MALDI works very well for looking at proteins, which are much heavier than the region where the, 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 the matrix is, but it causes significant interference problems when we're looking at metabolites. So we've developed an approach which is matrixless, or does not use a matrix. And this is a technique called Nanostructure Initiator Mass Spectrometry, or NIMS. So I just quickly want to walk you through the general steps in performing a NIMS experiment. To do NIMS, we start with a custom synthesized NIMS chip that looks like this. We then use a device called a cryomicrotome, which allows us to cut very thin sections of tissues that we then transfer on top of the NIMS plate. We then take the NIMS plate or the NIMS chip and we deposit it on to the MALDI plate and secure it. We take the MALDI plate with the NIMS chip attached and we put it in an instrument such as this one, which is an AB Cyx 5800 TOF TOF. This is a, a mass spectrometer. We then use this instrument, and specifically the laser in this instrument, to go across step by step across the tissue. And each specific place that the laser hits causes the tissue to desorb, or causes the molecules in that tissue to fly up into the gas phase, and then which we detect them using the TOF, or the time of flight component of the mass spectrometer. My name is Gary Patty, and I'm at the Scripps Research Institute. And what you're seeing here is the AB Cyx 5600 TOF TOF, and this is housed in the Center for Mass Spectrometry at the Scripps Research Institute.